In 2017, wild polio was eradicated from Ethiopia and my country was declared polio free. Ever since I learned that polio is one of just a few human diseases that can be completely eliminated from the world, I decided I would do everything I could. I would spend hours working closely with the National Poly Plus Committee, knocking on doors and fundraising, traveling to remote rural areas, and mobilizing volunteers to join immunization campaigns. I would plead with the government to increase their support. I would advocate for cross-border immunizations, pester corporate executives to come on board, all through rallying and persuading the media to raise awareness in our community. Together with my Rotarian colleagues, we organized campaigns to inform parents on how to access immunization services. We trained religious leaders across denominations who taught parishioners the importance of vaccinating their children early, rather than bringing sick and distressed infants to the clinic when it was too late. As you might imagine, all this work takes insanely long hours, patience, perseverance, and passion. What I, I have been able to achieve is not something that I've done on my own. It's something that has been done collectively. Until this disease is globally eliminated, the risk of its return to Ethiopia, with its vast and porous borders, remains high. So our fight continues. Rotary and our partners have made incredible progress toward eradicating polio, thanks to the oral polio vaccine, or OPV, which has helped reduce polio cases by over 99% since 1988. This vaccine is easy to administer and has the amazing ability to both protect the individual and prevent person-to-person -person spread of the virus. Unfortunately, if not enough children are vaccinated, the weakened polio virus contained in OPV can start to circulate in a community and over time, change to a form that causes paralysis. This variant of polio virus is called CVDPV, and it is one of the major barriers we face in achieving a polio-free world. To address the threat of CVDPV, a global group of experts have worked together for many years to develop a next-generation vaccine one that would carry less risk of changing to a harmful form that could cause paralysis in low immunity settings. The result is the novel oral polio vaccine type 2 or NOPV2 to address the most common type of CVDPV type 2. NOPV2 is very similar to the current saving OPV we rely on, but with key changes to prevent mutation. Across all studies, we have seen that NOPV2 is safe, effective, and significantly less likely to change to a form that can cause paralysis. It was amazing to see NOPV2 after a decade in the works begin to be rolled out from March 2021. We look forward to seeing more countries across different continents using this vital new tool in the future to combat CVDPV2. NOPV2 is a powerful example of the polio program's innovation to overcome the toughest challenges. Partners, scientists, and leaders from around the world made NOPV2 possible, and this is the kind of collaboration that will help us end polio for good. Thank you to all of the Rotary members around the world who have raised funds that are directly supporting the new vaccines rollout. We are confident that NOPV2 could help us stop CVDPV2 and bring polio eradication within our grasp. However, a vaccine sitting in a vial won't protect a child. We must all continue to reach and protect children everywhere and recommit to wiping out this terrible disease. The effort to eradicate polio is one of the world's largest public health campaigns. 
In 2021, fewer cases of wild polio have been reported than ever before. But vaccine-derived polio outbreaks and then the COVID-19 pandemic have added complexity to the campaign. Despite these and other challenges, Rotary and its partners adapt, innovate, and forge ahead. Dr. Hamid Jaffrey is with us from the World Health Organization's office in Amman, Jordan. In the first eight months of 2021, just two cases of wild polio were reported, one in Pakistan and one in Afghanistan. Can you explain why the numbers are so low? This is truly unprecedented that we are seeing this decline uh, simultaneously in the two countries. Why this is happening? I think there are three broad factors responsible for this. One is, uh, of course, the resumption of uh, mass polio vaccination campaigns after the interruption due to the uh, pandemic. Secondly, um, you know, the, there was a resurgence of polio cases in both Pakistan and Afghanistan starting late 2018 and through 2019 and 2020. And, and often we see that uh, a period that follows an epidemic period or an outbreak period, there is induction of natural immunity by the wild polio virus that circulates. And third, we believe that the uh, certain factors associated with the COVID pandemic might have also uh, contributed uh, uh, in an important way. Uh, most importantly, uh, the restrictions in travel and population movement because the virus moves with people as they are moving. So we are very excited about uh, uh, this window of opportunity, but we are still in the middle of the, what we call high polio transmission season, these late uh, summer months. We could still see um, a further increase. Also, we detect cases in the, uh, detect viruses in the environment. Uh, so we could see a resurgence. So this is the time to really press hard uh, in making use of the opportunity that presents itself now. The Afro region recently reached its one-year anniversary of being certified wild polio free, four years after Nigeria reported its last case of wild polio. The African region deserves a huge massive congratulation on this amazing uh, milestone of becoming wild polio virus free. Our current priority now is to protect Africa from the wild polio virus that is now circulating in Afghanistan and Pakistan, mm -hmm. and also for Africa to stop the multiple outbreaks of vaccine, uh, circulating vaccine-derived polio virus. I know the GPEI just launched its new strategy to end all polio viruses. Why was a new strategy needed? A previous uh, GPI strategy was uh, developed in 2018, we saw a resurgence of polio in both Pakistan and Afghanistan, both resurgence of wild polio virus, but also vaccine-derived uh, polio virus. And then we were, of course, hit by the pandemic. So many of the elements of the uh, previous strategic plan were no longer uh, valid. So there was an extensive consultative process that GPI took and came up with this new uh, five-year strategic plan. Some of the most uh, uh, polio endemic communities are also the ones that suffer from lack of basic health and uh, civic services. So better alignment and integration with other basic health and civic services in a way that the polio program is seen as a, as a more integrated um, approach to, to uh, vaccination. Uh, there are certain communities where we still miss a number of children, either because there are gaps in the way the vaccination campaigns are organized or where the communities or have misconceptions about the, uh, the polio vaccine. So there is social reluctance to embrace. I mean, this new strategy speaks to uh, engaging the communities uh, with new approaches, new strategies, partnering with communities, building new alliances. Uh, with these communities. You must find the situation in Afghanistan hugely challenging for the polio program. How do the polio partners work together to adapt in the face of these new challenges? You know, with the evolving situation in Afghanistan, it is of course very, very important that we partners maintain our neutrality 
um, and impartiality of the polio eradication program. As always, we will continue to work with all parties. The program is used to uh, adapting operationally in its planning and its communication based on the nature of insecurity, ba based on the nature of, uh, of conflict. Currently, we do see uh, opportunities uh, coming up as well so that we may have access to uh, all parts of uh, Afghanistan for implementing mass vaccination campaigns. Rotary has been fighting to end polio since 1985, well actually 1979 with the first campaign in the Philippines. Is there a message you'd like to share with the thousands of Rotary members who are viewing this program? Rotarians are the glue of the global polio eradication effort. They donate their time, they donate their funds, and they are the voice of the civil society that hold all of us and the governments around the world accountable for what we are doing to protect children uh, from polio and how much progress we are making in achieving global polio eradication. Thank you so much, Dr. Hamid, for your time today and much more important, for your work in making the world a place that is forever free of polio. A big, big thank you to all the Rotarians around the world. The push to end polio is one of the most complex global health efforts in history. The partners in this campaign have overcome complicated logistics, immunized people in migration, and responded to unforeseen challenges. This is a legacy to be proud of. But we are not done yet. Wild polio remains in just two countries, Afghanistan and Pakistan. My name is Yusra, I am a polio worker. सुबह सवेरे पहले मैं उठती हूँ निमाज़ पढ़ती हूँ उसके बाद घर की सफाई वगैरह करती हूँ सफाई करने के बाद फिर मैं नाश्ता तैयार करती हूँ मेरे साथ जो मेरी वर्कर है वो मेरे पीछे आती है हमारी गाड़ी है हमने अपने लिए की हम उसमें बैठ के तो हम में आते हैं आ जाइए बाजी अंदर आ जाइए हाँ जी बच्चे ये जो वैक्सीन है ये हमारी बीमारों जो हमारा हॉस्पिटल है वहाँ होती है हम फिर वहाँ से तोर हम लेकर आते हैं वेजर की है सीएस तमाम जो वर्कर्स हैं हमारे पोलियो में काम करने वाले मैं उनको सारा लेजेस्टी का तमाम यानी के सामान को मुहैया करती हूँ उनको यहाँ तक के पॉइंट पे बैठने का भी मैं बताती हूँ कि इधर बैठे क्योंकि इधर रश ज़्यादा है इधर ज़्यादा काम अच्छे तरीके के साथ फ्रंट पे हो सकेगा along the Pakistan-Afghanistan border in both countries. There seems to be tremendous progress, very positive development this year. We have seen the last WPV1 uh, case in both the countries in January. Since then, there's no child who has been paralyzed with wild polio virus uh, in both of these countries, uh, which is unforeseen, unprecedented. So we have to have a cautious optimism at this stage. मेन बॉर्डर है यहाँ पे ये पोलियो वैक्सीन करना इसलिए जरूरी है क्योंकि यहाँ से लोग आते भी हैं और जाते भी हैं इनका आना जाना लगा रहता है खुशी गम में यानी कि अक्सर ये लोगों के रिश्तेदार पाकिस्तान में होते हैं पास के अफगानिस्तान में तो इनका तो हर वक्त का आना जाना
So we have a cross-border vaccination strategy which is between Afghanistan and Pakistan. And uh, so the program has identified all these border crossing points, has deployed uh, vac cross-border vaccination team from both the sides, from Pakistan side as well as Afghanistan side. अपने पाकिस्तान से प्यार करते हैं क्योंकि अगर एक अगर हवातीन फ्रंट लाइन पे काम नहीं करेंगी तो ये जो हवातीन है ये हमसे मिस हो जाएंगी तो यहाँ पे आसपास हमारे बहुत से सिपाही होते हैं जिसकी वजह से हम उन्हें देख के खुद को महफूज साबित करते हैं और हमें पता है कि हम लोग यहाँ पे महफूज हैं अगर हम पहले से रोक थाम ना करें तो जब बच्चे मजदूर हो जाएंगे हमारे बच्चे काम नहीं करेंगे तो फिर तो वो मुल्क तरक्की कभी भी नहीं कर सकता The virus doesn't know where the Pakistan finishes and where the Afghanistan starts. For Pakistan and Afghanistan, the whole area is is the same for the virus. So we have to work together. We have to make sure that uh, we synergize. On the vaccination of children, which are coming from the other sides. We are focusing on vaccinating the moving population. It is funny whether it is Pakistan. The idea is that all the partners and the government, all of them sit as a one team under one roof at one place. तमाम partners जो हैं इकट्ठे होते हैं और daily two hours की meeting होती है. तो वहाँ Rotary International की contribution, Rotary International की as a polio ke liye kya kya efforts hain to main wo apne tamam experiences unse share karti thi to aur inko aap guide you know this gpi strategy uh, it has been developed with the intensive uh, consultation across the partners with the countries with the different stakeholders इधर कोई बच्चा रहता है पोलियो वाला इट हैज लॉट ऑफ इम्फेसिस ऑन कम्युनिटी एंगेजमेंट विच इज वन इम्पॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट एंड वी हैव सीन दैट इन सम पार्ट्स ऑफ दीज टू एंडेमिक कंट्रीज वैक्सीन एक्सेप्टेंस हैज बिकम वन ऑफ द की इश्यूज लेडी हेल्थ वर्कर के रीच घर तक होती है और वो खातन से डायरेक्ट उनकी कम्युनिकेशन होती है उसका उनके साथ लाइजॉन डेवलप हो चुका है जिसकी वजह से पूरी फैमिली उस पर ट्रस्ट करती है इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू अचीव पोलियो रेडिकेशन गोल बाय नॉट जस्ट रीचिंग विद पोलियो डोजेस थ्रू सप्लीमेंट्री इम्यूनाइजेशन एक्टिविटीज but also playing a catalytic role to enhance broader health services we go to those people not only for the polio drops but we go to them with other services we are also making health camps in those areas where there is higher number of uh, refusers meri inner satisfaction mujhe hui hai aaj ka health camp karke ke maine us community ko address kiya जो कि 70 परसेंट अखवान कम्युनिटी थी 20 परसेंट जो है वो पाकिस्तान में थी जब आप किसी इलाके में जाके कम्युनिटी को सर्विसेज देते हैं तो वो कहते हैं कि ये तो हमारे घर आके हमें हमारी हेल्थ के बारे में आके बता रहे हैं जब आप उनके घर पे जाते हैं तो ये हमारी वैल्यूज हैं वो रिस्पेक्ट देते हैं वो हमारी बात गौर से सुनते हैं और फिर वो कहते हैं कि ये तो हमारी बेहतरी के लिए है अब तो हम बहुत क्लोज हैं पाकिस्तान और अफगानिस्तान में अब एक एक केस है ये एक बहुत बड़ी अचीवमेंट है कि एक ख्वाब पूरा होने जा रहा है हम रूटेरियंस का
The fight to eradicate polio has been filled with challenges, but we have made immense progress. We can be proud of everything we have accomplished. Now, we have an unprecedented opportunity to eliminate wild polio. In my home country of Afghanistan, Rotary and our partners are working with all stakeholders to ensure that polio eradication remains a top priority, even in the midst of change. Work is underway to ensure that children have access to life-saving polio and other childhood vaccines. In Pakistan, where I live, Rotary continues to work with the government, community, and religious leaders to build trust and reach children everywhere with polio vaccine by bringing broader health services to children and families alongside polio vaccination we are ensuring better health care and greater vaccine acceptance as the two of us continuing working towards a polio free world we know there are countless rotary members working alongside with us we may all live in different countries and come from different backgrounds, but our goal is the same. As members of Rotary, we will work relentlessly to deliver on the promise that we made to the children of the world. Thank you for the critical role you all played to bring eradication within reach. We are grateful for your ongoing support. Thank you. Each year, as we celebrate our strides toward a polio-free world, Rotary members and clubs organize events and fundraisers, a collective effort that motivates and moves us to action. Uh, this is a project that we've been involved with for 12 years. 25 to 35 farmers dedicating the proceeds from one acre of corn. Those uh, 12 years, we've raised over $150,000. We create awareness, illuminating historical buildings with the End Polio Now logo. The lighting is combined with a publicity campaign and significant fundraising events. Watakustachiwa, Hemos organizado la Rotary Polio Race. Invitamos a todos los rotarios del mundo a unirse a nuestro reto del 16 al 24 de octubre. Juntos vamos a celebrar la Semana Mundial contra la Polio. For World Polio Day 2021, my Rotary Club will be illuminating Hopeton House, one of the iconic stately homes close to our town. And that aids our fundraising effort throughout all the rest of the year. Telepolio é um evento virtual onde a gente convida médicos, pacientes e celebridades para falarem do sentimento e como importante é se manter engajado contra essa terrível doença. We are planning to distribute 500 wheelchairs to people living with disabilities, and we are prepared to fundraise up to a tune of 12,000 US dollars. We're leading Move for Polio. 30 clubs to raise $100,000. July 1st to World Polio Day, October 24th. We're moving for polio. And you can too. Come join us as we celebrate Rotary's efforts to end polio now. This live stream event will provide updates on Rotary's latest efforts to eradicate polio. Thank you to Rotary members and supporters for your tireless efforts. We know that as long as the disease remains a threat, you will stay committed to end polio forever. As you've seen in this year's World Polio Day program, countless Rotary members are donating their expertise, time, and money to make polio a disease of the past. 
The work we've accomplished collectively is exceptional. Together with our partners, we've immunized nearly 3 billion children and prevented more than 19 million cases of polio. Today, the wild polio virus is contained in just two countries, and circulation of the wild virus is lower than ever. While this is encouraging, the job isn't done. It will require our collective energy to wipe out wild polio in Pakistan and Afghanistan and overcome the remaining challenges. We must use new strategies and every available vaccine to tackle vaccine-derived polio. And we need to ensure that polio-free countries stay polio-free. Finally, we can harness the power of vaccines to bring this journey to an end so that the infrastructure we built can continue to keep children safe against other vaccine-preventable diseases. Meeting these challenges starts with you, because this effort started with you, and this effort will end with you and every single one of our 1.4 million Rotary and Rotaract members working together to eradicate polio. On behalf of the Rotary Foundation trustees and Rotary's International Polio Plus Committee, I am asking for your help. Whether you're a longtime donor, considering a gift for the first time, or you haven't donated in a few years, the Polio Plus program needs your support. We must raise $50 million each year so we can finish the fight we started. Every dollar you donate will be matched two to one by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which triples your impact. We will eradicate polio. We need to aim high, dream big, and give freely. Please consider making a donation this year at www.npolio.org. Thank you for your support.